Hey gang, it's Maria uh, coming at you from the home office this morning and today I'm going to do a quick video just sharing with you a few of my favorite web apps. Um, and not even necessarily web apps, but sort of computer tools. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you is this. Um, and I call it, well, I call it the Geek Pen 2000. But its actual name is Livescribe, um, and I use the Livescribe Echo. So uh, you can see it says there, my Geek Pen. And um, so basically what it does is uh, it's a pen. And you write notes uh, using special notebooks um, that you can get this size, size I usually use, but you can also get the full 8.5 by 11 um, notebooks that you kind of used when you were in school. Um, and the pages, if you look really closely, I don't think you can see it, but they have a little, almost like a, not a texture, but a pattern behind it. So when you write your notes, and it just writes like a normal pen, but it records sort of the movements and the actions and the patterns of the pen. You can also um, record audio. So as if I'm sitting in a lecture or a meeting, I can record the audio, make notes, and then later go back to it, click on the audio, and listen to what you know what was being said at the time I was writing those notes. So sometimes you know you go back to your notes, you think like, what does this mean? So you can go back and you can get in um, the audio that was that you were recording as you were writing that note. So that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing that you can do is download it um, to the web. Um, you can download it to your desktop, then you can also link that to the web so that anywhere you are, you don't have to, ha even if you don't have your notebook with you, you can go back and see the notes that you made at various meetings. So um, I really like it. I think to get set up on it, I think it was maybe $170 or so um, in Canada. The notebooks aren't that bad. I, I think I got maybe a three three or four pack of those notebooks for uh, 15 or $20. So um, for me, it's definitely worth it because I write a lot of notes and I used, used to have like four different notebooks on the go. Um, with this, I can upload it to my desktop and then I can segment my notes into different sort of virtual notebooks and it's been really helpful. So that's Livescribe. Um, I don't I don't have an affiliate account. I don't get kickback, so I'm just sharing it with you. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you what the desktop looks like so you can see what the notes look like when you import them. And I'm going to share another one of my favorite um, web apps with you. So hang on. I'll be right back. So here I've opened up my Livescribe desktop. And um, so you can see that I've imported my notes just by plugging the pen into a USB. Um, and you can see, you know, it looks exactly... Um, it looks exactly like it does in my notebook. So um, where you see it in green there, that just is where uh, the pen was running out of ink. So these are notes that I made, and I can you know click on these and um, bring it up full size. I can print them. I can organize them into different notebooks. So that is uh, Livescribe Desktop. Um, now I'm just going to go over to another one of my favorite apps, and this is called Evernote. And... Um, so basically, it's just a place where you can save and categorize notes. Um, so here are notes that I made on a book that I read, sort of some book summaries. And I'd written it in a different notebook um, before I had the Geek Pen 2000. So all I did was took a picture of it with my um, phone, and then I loaded it into Evernote. Um, I can even sync Evernote with my Livescribe uh, desktop. The other thing I really like about Evernote is if I'm on a website, there's a page that I want. Um, let me just pull up. So if I'm on, say I'm on um, Strength Coach blog. So this is Mike Boyle's blog, and there's something there that I really, really, um, that I really, really like, but I don't have time to read it. Um, I have a little icon on my desktop. It's just off the screen right now, but I use Firefox, and I've loaded it in Firefox. You can see here, Evernote. So I can choose um, whether to clip all of that article or just highlight part of that article into Evernote and save it for later. And I can title it and I can tag it so that it's easy to find later on. So those are two of the favorite tools that I've been using lately online just to make my work a little more efficient. The Livescribe pen and um, this web app that uh, is called Evernote. Um, so I hope that maybe those are a couple things that you can use. and. Uh, I hope you find it helpful. So this is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com, where my goal is to help 11,000 goalies win more games with fewer injuries, even if you don't know just how awesome you could be.